Hello, I'm Mike from MaxSales.com. Tech enthusiast and Mac evangelist since 1999, I started using Macs personally and professionally during the Steve Jobs renaissance of the late 90s and never looked back. And I'm here to discuss something I'm super psyched about, and that's the concept of the modular Mac Pro. For the last few years, I've thought that this is the avenue Apple should take the Mac Pro. In fact, before Apple made their announcement, I was talking to someone here in Austin during South By about my concept of what for years I've been calling the modular Mac Pro. And then it came to me, while I use the term modular Mac Pro and I think I have a good understanding of what it could mean, do others know what modular means? How important this could be and how awesome this could be? You see, Apple is using the term without explaining at all what it means. Of course, there's the whole Apple secrecy thing, so they probably don't want to divulge too much. But I don't work for Apple. And I'd love to take this opportunity to explore what this modular Mac Pro could be and the paths Apple may take. Full disclosure, I have zero knowledge of what Apple might, might be trying to build. I'm simply a Mac evangelist that's been thinking and dreaming about a modular Mac Pro concept for years. So let's dig in. Thunderbolt was released in early 2011 MacBook Pros with iMacs shortly to follow. Previously referred to as Light Peak, which Intel introduced in 2009, there was some lead up to Apple's usage of Thunderbolt, and this fantastically fast interface is what spawned my vision for a modular Mac Pro. Essentially, if you view Thunderbolt as a path to upgrade or swap components that were once internal by simply connecting a box to a cable versus opening the box and going inside, then you understand the modularity of that approach to building a computer, and hence the idea behind a modular Mac. So, what's wrong with the current Mac Pro? Well, for one, it's from 2013, so it's a bit long in the tooth, tech-wise. Now, I still work on one. I've had three iterations, from the fastest processor in video cards to the mid-level to the entry level. And quite frankly, all have performed awesomely, mainly without fail. And I only need to restart every month or so, so that's pretty positive. And while I'm decently positive on the current Mac Pro's performance, it's not upgradable much, aside from the SSD or the memory and it's very expensive. So you have this really expensive machine whose usefulness and lifespan are locked in time, so it can only last as long as its components last. And once they need repair, it's likely expensive or requires a complete replacement. You see, to me there's almost no difference in the upgradability when you compare the Mac Pro to the iMac. In fact, I think the iMac's a better machine and is more affordable. I'd rather have two 5K iMacs than a cylinder Mac Pro. But don't just take my word for it, Apple openly said they designed themselves into a corner with the 2013 Mac Pro. At Apple's announcement for the new Mac Pro, Craig Federighi, Apple's Senior Vice President of Software Engineering said, I think we designed ourselves into a bit of a thermal corner, if you will. We designed a system that we thought with the kind of GPUs that at the time we thought we needed. They can only add so much before heat becomes a major issue, and they honestly thought the dual video cards they chose would serve what was needed. Just like with anything video card related with Apple, options are hard to come by. PC rigs can have one, two, and even three video cards. And for a lot of people, there's some really fast PCs out there, and Apple can no longer ignore that. And there's creative pros out there that absolutely need those faster capabilities to get their projects done. So Apple's reimagining the Mac Pro, which is awesome and super intriguing. The odd thing for me though, nobody's talking about it and I've only seen light guesses as to what it could be. So here I am ready to dive in and share some ideas on what the modular Mac Pro could be. So one path Apple could go is individual boxes or modules, like component-like. It could be externalized boxes that simply connect via Thunderbolt 3 or some other interface that lets you a la carte each component as you need. Think of it like a stereo or home theater system where you can buy different boxes you need and simply connect them to expand or upgrade your capabilities. The boxes or modules would allow you to mix and match based on your needs and your budget, essentially making every Mac Pro module plug and play swappable. Now here's where I'm thinking these boxes would break out with different upgrade paths and options for each one. So the first module would be the core module. Now this would be the motherboard, the processor, the memory with the initial Thunderbolt ports. You would need this to connect everything else. So the base level could feature like four Thunderbolt 3 ports and a moderately fast processor with various upgrade options or tiers to step up to more processors, more cores, and more ports as needed. 
Again, the flexibility to choose what you need and easily swap out new modules when they become available is key to how this system would work. So number two is the I.O. module. This one's simple, but very much needed, with different options allowing different connections such as USB 3, audio interfaces, FireWire, Ethernet, and more. It'd be easily decoupled from the main box, so you only pay for what you need, and if you need it. The third module would be the storage module. Now this would be multi-option, with anywhere from a single drive to multi-drive SSD. You could bring, have empty bring your own drive modules, or you could opt to pass in this module altogether and simply use an external drive of your choice. Now, the fourth module would be the GPU module. Single or multiple GPU options are very much likely here. Also, Apple absolutely needs to work on supporting more third-party cards to take advantage of any faster or better cards as they come out. Because while the Silver Tower Mac Pro had upgradable video cards, upgrade options were scarce to say the least. And this may be why Apple recently began pushing for external GPUs, not only to enhance their laptops, but to prep for the modular Mac Pro. Just look at the release dates. eGPU, Spring 2018. Modular Mac Pro, 2018. It could be coincidence, or it could be the new modular Mac ecosystem. Now, I'm not actually saying this is what the Mac Pro will look like. This is simply an abstract representation of externalized separate modules of what could be the next Mac Pro. Case in point, the modules could be towers like these, bigger, smaller, whatever, or sideways like stereo equipment. In any case, it would be a very interesting approach if Apple goes this route. In part two of this series, we'll explore two more concept ideas of what Apple could be building for the next modular Mac Pro and compare all three concept ideas to each other. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.